Today, I'm going to be giving you five advantages and five disadvantages of Internet of Things. IoT or Internet of Things is a widely used term these days. It is basically a network of physical objects that have been embedded with some sort of software or technology that is able to communicate and exchange data over the internet with other physical objects. It is an emerging technology and it is getting popular by the year. Without further ado, let's get straight into this. So let's start off on a positive note. It minimizes human effort. We don't need to get involved with our human interventions, dabbling here and there. Internet of Things allows automation for businesses and products. It also provides huge convenience for us. For example, we're on our way back home and we want to eat our food in 10 minutes. We can use an application to turn on our smart oven so by the time we get home, the ovens are already warm, we put our food in, bang, we can eat. Number two, it saves time. As you can see from my previous example, there's no need to go all the way home and then turn on the oven. We can do that before we even walk through the front door. So this ain't like the Stone Age. Everything is kind of automated now. Manual tasks are minimized. And this in turn saves more time for us. This is one of the biggest benefits of IoT. Number three, it saves energy. As things communicate wirelessly, there's no need for a large main computer hub like you might have seen back in the day. It's disgusting. Everything is minimized and energy is more efficiently used. Therefore, we're saving money on bills, which is fantastic, right? Number four, enhanced data collection. One of the biggest advantages and the beauty of the Internet of Things is that you can access data from anywhere in the world. This is really important and crucial for businesses as not only are you able to get that information instantly, this information is real time as it's constantly updated on the go. So you're getting the latest information there and then. Number five, improve security. IoT with the help of these interconnected systems can improve security posture and control within your homes through the new smart appliances. I gave you some examples before of the smart oven. These are all a part of the smart home. So for example, I can have a baby cam and I can view the application on my phone, or I can have security cameras and view this from my mobile phone as well. This is what the future is looking like and you can see things directly from your handheld mobile phone as opposed to you physically being there. As you can see, the internet of things can provide some big value towards us in terms of convenience and automation. Now that's over with, let's look at some of the drawbacks of the Internet of Things, as there are some cons to this as well. So the first disadvantage is security issues. I know I just mentioned that it does improve security at your homes, but as the Internet of Things is communication via the Internet, it's really hard to control what data is exchanged and communicated online. Hackers, if you've seen Mr. Robot, these guys love this area. And as the internet is constantly evolving and malware and security is really hard to keep on top of, it is a constant issue and the internet of things only provides another area for these guys to target. Number two, technology domino effect. As all these systems are connected, if there's one small issue, one slight bug, like a conveyor belt, the whole building comes falling down. Of course, this can cost businesses a lot of money and time if one little aspect does not work properly. Number three, high dependency on the internet. As you can tell from the name, Internet of Things, without no internet, IoT is redundant. It is like a boat on sand or a car with no wheels. I can go on. It is like Liverpool with no Mo Salah or a PlayStation with no controller. So all these snazzy smart devices that do all these amazing things, become void if there's no internet. In a weird dystopian world, if this happened, what would we do with all these smart watches and everything? It'd just be like a normal watch. No, no, nah, no, nah. no. Number four, reduce physical and mental activity. This is a big one, and I actually discussed it in a prior video. The link is over there. Technology is automating the world. It's making things easier and more convenient for us. There's no need to go to a shop. We could just one click buy on Amazon. It removes the need for physical work and we risk having a generation of people that are essentially lazy. 
it makes us not appreciate the journey or the technologies or the things around us or how we even got it. A great example of this is in the film Wall-E. If you haven't seen it, it's a great film. And it also paints a dystopian future in terms of what our society could look like. Make a place green. No, it doesn't sound good. Look, I'm tired of it. If you can't fold the straw, you have to sell. It could be like this. Number five, increase unemployment. Skilled workers and even non-skilled workers are at huge risk here. All these jobs before which were done physically with real hands and not through online internet and technologies are at risk. We can have a future where most of these jobs are redundant. And look at the nature of technology and what the internet of things is doing. Who wants an error prone human when we can have a super intelligent system doing our tasks, improving efficiency and productivity? In summarization, IoT clearly has some big benefits, but as you can see, there are some areas of concern. They're not massive right now, but if we don't control this, they could evolve in the future. Right now, not all our devices are connected to the internet, but as we continue our evolution within the internet of things, It'd be interesting to see what the future holds and hopefully the positives can still outweigh the negatives. Thank you guys for listening. That's my five advantages and five disadvantages of IoT. Give me a little like and subscribe. Hit the little notification bell if you like what you heard. I really appreciate all the support. I'll bring some more future content for you guys in the near future. Peace out.